guys look my flowers just survived um i used that little box over there to add my address i can't wait to literally open them actually let me open them with you right now okay he has a little card say hello to flower subscription flower instructions then i have um message for me oh this is the message we hope you enjoy your flower subscription and yeah cute how cute is this oh this is super cute hey there i haven't seen you guys in a while it's been a long 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 time since i've actually spoken to you guys and that was just because i just wanted like a downtime you know and with everything going on it just felt wrong actually like doing things that is just frivolous basically so um today i'm in the mood to actually do some filming and that's because i received some package through the door and i got some really really nice amazing things i'd like to show you guys including this dress this dress is absolutely beautiful um but that will be in the next video after this one i'm about to show you guys and in this video um literally a, a zara package i bought some things from zara and it finally arrived despite some delays one one batch um came first yesterday and the other one came today so now i was just gonna like perfect timing to actually do some filming and as you can tell my um oh, my um stand is just over there and the zara package is just there so yeah um first oh look at my flowers i wanted to show you guys my flowers first of all um this one is already picking through you can see as well as this one there's one over here hold on for the three to come through and it looks gorgeous oh my cupboard is like opened <laughs> and it looks gorgeous so i can't wait for them to fully bloom and right now i'm off to get breakfast because i'm not actually at breakfast yet so i'm off to get breakfast and then we'll do some unboxing and while i'm eating breakfast i'm just going to be watching little fire everywhere reese with us we really got in touch with a karen <laughs> the karen side of her i suppose of the character um yeah so just gonna watch that and then i'll see you when it's time to unbox <laughs> so oh wait let me get my juiced carrot that my dad made so cheers to elvie leaving so i literally have like two boxes of zara with me and we're about to open it to see what i have the first one did really well thank you so much for all of you that watched it thank you so much for the comments as well you know that was really really nice of you guys so i figured i might as well, i might as well just do like a part two you know i'm in love with zara everything most of my items my wardrobes are zara um and i just feel like they're like really good brands First, we have this white oversized t-shirt and I think this is cotton, it might be pure cotton, yeah it's 100% cotton and I'm in love with like a lot of like cotton like linen sort of um, style recently and so I figured I might as well just get like an oversized t-shirt, almost like a boyfriend's size that um that i feel like can easily go well as a dress by the way if you can hear anything going off in the background that's my fan it's really hot in here so yeah um just a disclaimer just to let you know because i feel like it might interfere into the noise of this video hopefully not but yeah just in case um so i figured this i can easily convert this into like a um t-shirt dress and style it up or like just have it over like a dress and it's in extra small and it's literally 30 pounds 
so i feel like this is worth it good quality material this is how i styled the oversized t-shirt instead of making it look too structured and i feel like i can easily get away with this as a dress on but i feel like this is such a perfect little like t-shirt dress quite relaxed yeah so structured and something that is quite outgoing as well and it's something that you can wear to brunch to the next one i'd like to show you guys is this gorgeous 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 top oh my god this is so sexy i love this and i love the ripple and the knot in the front and the v-neck as well is perfect for small chested girls I pair this top with these trousers which is strangely enough is actually from zara as well but that was like a couple of years ago this top is literally so nice that it complements any trousers that you have in your wardrobe this creates like a different vibe automatically as soon as i tucked it in it just creates more like jumpsuit sort of style to it and i like that it's ultra feminine it's ultra chic it's very good for like brunch with your girls or just maybe like somewhere really really nice that you, you're going to maybe for like a different occasion like a friend's birthday party and it's giving me like very um summer vibes you know holiday vibes somewhere like saint tropez somewhere like bora bora like a nice exotic holiday i would say this is like a draw on outfit for me without thinking and you can wear like a pop of color with this look um have like a straw hat maybe like a sunglass as well to just elevate the look a little bit more a nice look to the outfit and it's just a good top to have in your wardrobe literally obsessed with this like obsessed with this um knot as well as this texture of the top pairing this um top with a leather skirt from plt that i got a while back and i feel like this is also a great combination together and this gives it like a different vibe you know it gives it more sexy sort of like playful vibes that you can wear for summertime top elevates this skirt a little bit more to make it look high end actually high end is, is pushing it but it just kind of like gives it like a different vibes to it which i kind of like because it's like i'm not taking myself too seriously but um I just kind of want to dress really nice and still be a little mama. I love the stone color against the white and it just shows that this top works in various ways. You can upscale it or you can dress it down. It just gives it that nice vibe of room. And because it's like £13, it's so worth it because £13 for Zara, that is, that is very cheap. That is very affordable for Zara. Quality is actually really good and I'm not mad at this. So this is for the kid. It's staying in the wardrobe and it's not going anywhere and the next one is uh, a body i love bodies they're just so easy to like style and like to pair well with other things which is gorgeous and it's like um 13 pounds in size small it's good quality and it looks like it's gonna stay you in the right places all of the things that i've shown you so far are white i feel like this is the season of white we need a bit of purity a bit of innocence into our life you know a bit of sophistication this is just perfect for the wardrobe like a good basic for the wardrobe i've always wanted like a good pair of body in my wardrobe that doesn't show my cleavage or anything that is still really nice and still tightly fitted and it doesn't like you know it doesn't make me look flat on the boobs area and i feel like i finally found it and thank goodness zara has these bodies because they're absolutely gorgeous it can go well with anything in your wardrobe literally i'm pairing this with my trousers that i got from river island a while back and i feel like it just gives it that nice chic look that effortless chic that you want and also i would consider this like a throw on easily throw on um outfit to wear for when you're going out or in a hurry and you can't think of any outfit to wear a good body and a nice trousers it will just make you look like you didn't put much thought into it but you still look nice kind of vibe to it gorgeous 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 you don't really need a belt with this one as well and um it's not that um revealing and it's very comfortable I literally love this body it's 13 pounds this is literally so chic and so effortless again is just the perfect combo do you think this one is from where's this one from um from mango this shirt is from mango in my last haul that i did and this is another effortless combo and yeah i like this look it's nice and like 
also easy to throw on you're not trying too hard but you still look really really nice which is just the kind of vibes i'm into these days so the perfect way to look stylish without doing too much is just having like a simple pair the nice trainers would go well like nice heels or like you know would go well with this and you can see that it's not loose anyway it's just very fitting i also feel like you can easily throw on this over um oversized shirts feel like i'm throwing it all the way back to the 90s with this style yeah i'm throwing it all the way back to the 90s with this style <laughs> so just have it this way and it's gorgeous yeah it's really nice look to it i like this so this is much more dressed down sort of vibes just very simple um style as well and it's just still very nice like I said, most of my outfits, most of the clothes in my wardrobe are just easy throw on outfits that you can wear and still look really nice and stylish. And yeah, I'm not trying too hard. So basically, this is how this bodysuit will look, which is perfection. <laughs> perfection. And then, oh my God, can I talk about this top, please? Look at the detailing, the neck details. Rouge is almost like rouge sort of style, and it gives me like you know like um sophisticated, so like grown woman vibes as well. And I absolutely love this top. Oh my god, it's literally stunning. It's much more stunning in person than I than I saw on the website. This can easily transfer into like office wear. But then you can also wear this for like a cute like, you know, day out with your friends and stuff like that and for like different occasions as long as like this is very smart. You can easily go smart or you can easily go stylish in a stylish way if that makes sense. So um, yeah, this is one of the colors and this is cream and I feel like this is just fabulous and just fantastic. Like it's gorgeous. I'm pairing this top with these trousers and oh my god i'm in love <laughs> i really love this i really do like i feel like this top i underestimated how heavy and thick it is and i just love how it drops down it looks like it's padded shoulders with this um rouge stitching stitching on the side braids and then it comes down this way almost making it look militant kind of but it's still like something that you would see old money wearing like you know those ladies that have old money like literally this is just something that it oh my god i think this is just more than an office wear look i think it's more than that i feel like this is what you do when you're like going shopping for Harvard's or selfridges and you're strutting down with like um the bell guy at, um, at your back you're just carrying your gucci bags and all your luxury luxury shopping behind you while you're walking with your like Pomeranian dog I feel like this is the vibe this is giving me oh my god I'm in love with this look I'm in love with this look I'm sorry <laughs> is that weird to say that I am I really do love this look yeah uh, I, need, I need to go out I need to I need to <laughs> I need to go out dinner like this is such a dinner look i feel like the materials are quite heavy you can wear this during like winter period as well because of how thick and heavy it feels on the skin you know and this is class this is this is classy this is sophistication my mom would absolutely love this look as well she would love she will love 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 this look too okay so it goes well with these trousers as well which is really nice so i know that it's safe bet for me as well this one is much more whiter than this i feel like this color is almost stonish stone white like off white slightly off white sort of top to it and yeah this is yeah i love i love it with these trousers together i think this is really really nice pair together and um i'm actually gonna try with something else so that you see various ways you can you can try on this look and i feel like because of how this trousers is um it makes it much more um you know relaxed i feel it's much more relaxed not as structured as the first trousers paired with this top this top is staying 
it's staying with me <laughs> definitely staying and i feel like this will last me for seasons to come and that's the best thing about zara most of the clothes is something that you wear for for seasons to come yes again i love love these two combined together this is a look as well i love a split a good split skirt i can't i swear to god i need every every shopping i do i always have to have shorts in my holes and as well as in my wardrobe i love shorts so much i feel like they're like the perfect staple to have during spring summer time and this is a perfect number like it's gorgeous and it's eye-rise shorts as well which is great because with me i like everything to be eye-rised because of my torso like i am five foot two but because i have a long torso this would be perfect for me and it just makes elongate it literally elongates my legs for me and makes me look taller at least in pictures anyways yeah at least in pictures firstly it makes me look taller and it just complements my body shape literally so this looks kind of too big but hopefully it looks right on me you know the only reason i have this chain on right now is because this shorts is a little bit too big for me even though it's extra small that's the thing with zara like trousers for me because of my waist sometimes i find it quite tricky to find the right you know waist size waist size for me so this i just literally thought i just i might as well just belt it as you can tell it's a bit too big for me but it doesn't take away from the beauty of these trousers i absolutely love this trousers. it's so chic to the point that you can easily convert this into like a smart look as well as a um, dressed out look you know and i feel like this is so so great if you want to look expensive and sophisticated without trying too hard of course you take out the chain i'm not sure how i feel about this chain but i like this combination together i feel like this shorts with like a nice nice tucked in um t-shirt or like top this would be perfect it will look so gorgeous on this is such a summer look as well it's a summer vibe and i'm living for it i'm loving it it's absolutely lush fortunately i'm gonna have to return the shorts because it's just not my size and i don't have the i'm actually too lazy to go and get it um readjusted to my waist size so i think i'm just gonna send this back and just be content with the shorts i have at home already if you're in need for a short and your waist is not as tiny as mine you can easily give this a good go you know trying to look nice and expensive without breaking the budget without break, without breaking the bank and your budget so it's excellent excellent this shorts is 30 pounds and then the last one we have here is a uh, trousers as well i need a good trousers that is like gorgeous and like sophisticated i just love the little detail here yeah? this doesn't have a pocket by the way yay it's not it doesn't have any pocket and i love the back on um, back detail of these trousers it's nice simple yet so like elegant as well which is something that i really love about it and that's the reason i got this for myself with these trousers i'm actually pairing it with a ralph lauren top the colors together goes well actually because they're very close in in shades of color yeah it's not too smart with this top this top just makes it look much more um dressed down i would say much more for going out sort of vibes to it say you always thought baby but you never answer because i was here with the others Ooh. i'm pairing it with my also cv look to see if it gives it a different vibe to it i think it does give it that structure look which i really like but I still like whoop, whoop, let's go party this is more sophisticated grown woman sort of party outfit you know just showing a little bit of skin but in a classy way and um yeah and so i'm gonna open this and yet again i got a short but this is a jean short and it's eye rise and 
it's just gorgeous for like summertime i feel like it's just perfect and it's white as well i feel like um, this palette that i chose are all white palettes if that makes sense but that's because i love white like i explained in my last video i love i absolutely love white i'm even wearing white at the minute my room is white everything is white that, that's literally my favorite color aside from pink so yeah um a shorts for me on okay so this shorts is a, a little bit too short it looks like a pampas on <laughs> like it is extremely short and um i don't know i'm changing like my style is changing so short things like this just make me feel uncomfortable but i still like this look though i still like the pairing together i actually like the pairing together it's just more something i would wear for like a barbecue you know or something that i would wear to like the beach or something like or something i would wear for holiday if that makes sense but i'm not going on holiday anytime soon so i don't see the point of having a short a short like this in my wardrobe at the minute um i like the i do like the fact that it's quite eye wasted though this is so short it's revealing too much look at <laughs> trying it with something else i'm returning this this is going back to where it belongs like i mean look how short <laughs> what was i thinking i didn't know it was gonna be this short um i like how ripped it is it's quite ripped um yeah it's it's just it's, it's for summer it's like when you're out and about and then we have some color yay yay but this is more earthy toned color as well. I think it's like pink, silvery pink, if that makes sense. Or light purple or something in between those colors. It's, it's satin as well. Satin and cotton. Oh, that's so bomb. Same as linen. And it's not as shiny as my other satins that I have in my house, um, in my wardrobe. Or like the pretty little thing um, and misguided satin um, t-shirt that I have. This is not as shiny and I really like that about it and it's quite muted as well and I feel like whatever trousers or skirt I pair with this it just elevates the look automatically so this is a gorgeous piece I love the color the color is gorgeous it's amazing and it's satin so it makes it breathable and it styles up the outfit a little bit more so I think like this is more like a dress top sort of look to go for when you don't know what you need to wear in your wardrobe again it's quite simple quite basic but still nice um top to pair with any trousers or any skirts or any bottoms that you have at home and so i have the other color i got this skirt this splitter skirt um i love the detailing the belt details here is gorgeous it's absolutely gorgeous and i love how long it is and it looks like it can be quite classy with also like a slit on the side which can elevate it to like like sexy real quick if that makes sense it's like sophisticated classy sort of vibes to this that i'm loving and it's pleated as well i love the skirt i love the color i think it's very complimentary and very flattering to my skin tone it's like olive green um with um a bit of pop of color which is blue i hope it's showing here that it's blue because this is quite blue with a bit of gold it being tied together is just such a perfect little number let me know which one is your favorite one so far yeah okay so this is a really nice look i feel like with a nice cuff it's just gonna top this look for me oh my god this is so ultra chic and so like feminine and i didn't think i would like a skirt like this but i absolutely love this skirt it's not doing too much it's just nice and simple no i'm in love with this skirt i'm in love with this skirt i'm in love with this outfit in general both of them together is like the perfect fit so you can dress up this skirt very very easily it depends on the top that you choose this is yeah this is a look this is definitely a look you can tell that it's absolutely flowy 
yeah this is more dressed up this is more of a dressed up look this combination together with this knot is just simplicity flawless simplicity like it's just flawless <laughs> today has been actually quite chilled um i took off my ponytail i'm gonna give my ponytail a little rest and that's because like i don't want gel to break my hair so too much of everything is not good so i'm trying to minimize that and so i've done my braids which is why i have my scarf on and i've already washed my wig that i'm gonna start putting on very soon but right now i'm in the kitchen about to bake cookies i've mixed um the white sugar with the light brown sugar together um adding like the butter into it and then what else did i put to it and eggs as well and i've just done that mix which i'm gonna show you now this is the mix i've already done and soon i'm gonna have to put um vanilla extract in there one teaspoon and then baking powder as well and then one um which is one teaspoon too as well as um salt which is one teaspoon and then add the flowers into it just to make the cookie i've run out of the um you know of the chocolate chips cookie so i'm good i'm just gonna have like a plain one well the mixture is all done and now i'm just gonna put it in the baking tray yeah the cookies are ready they're quite plain which is what i was going for anyways when i've already beaten out of it i left it a little longer than normal than i should have but did you like the cookies though yeah it's better than the domino ones yeah yeah they taste burnt. <laughs> thank you what? yeah they're delicious mm -hmm. all right thank you uh, nothing seems to sweet today what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a uh take a look at a whole lot of things and um i am currently uploading a video and so i just wanted to show you guys my flowers look how gorgeous they are like they've bloomed so well um they're absolutely beautiful so um i was actually downstairs cooking dinner with my mom and then i realized that i need to respond some, to some emails basically and the email that i need to respond to urgently is my therapist email um well if you don't know i'm currently in therapy well i finished i finished about two weeks ago um i was in therapy or maybe should i say i'm still in therapy sort of kind of ish but i officially finished um two weeks ago and um my therapy was because i suffer from ocd um it's not OCD with cleanliness, it's more like intrusive thoughts basically. Um, sometimes I think really negatively or I want to wake up some, one day to kill people, you know, kind of um, thoughts. And so um, I've, been suffering, I've been suffering with it for, um, let's say since last year of uni, I would say that was when I first noticed the symptoms. Of me having those and intrusive thoughts that went on for two years constantly um, to the point that I almost got very very suicidal um, and I it's only by the grace of God honestly that saved me like constant prayers and stuff like that and so was it last year I went to like make like different moves in my life because I was quite unhappy about this stagnation that was happening in my life i felt stagnant i felt like i was not moving and in order to achieve what i want in life you have to go for it so i think that so that triggered um my intrusive thoughts again and i started having it around um november period up until like um december and then for my 2020 re resolution i was like is literally all about self-care like everyone talks about self-care but people don't talk about on um, unpacking insecurities as well as unpacking you know um doubts making yourself better mentally as well like your mental well-being is actually um, like needs to be a1 because in this world this world will drive you crazy and you need a good mental health basically so i thought like that 
this year should just be my selfish year my year of putting myself first you know my year of just taking care of for me and not just physically but mentally and um emotionally and spiritually and you know and i felt like the first step was going having a therapist and going to therapy and that was one thing that i did and so i gradually put my room de decoration into action so that's why i started re renovating my room and that's why i started um moving things around in my room and so i feel like because my room is all brand new now my mental health is a lot better i would say is drastically changed um it's improved my mood a lot more my room literally feel like i feel like your room reflects your mental state and the way you are emotionally and from my room you can tell that i'm a lot better it's a lot cleaner um it's a lot more put together it's a lot more like structured you know and so now i'm just gonna reply to the email which i'm gonna bring you along with me because i feel like if I'm going to have to start vlogging, I need to show the ugly side as well, not just the pretty things, you know, just so you know that um, my life is not always perfect or always amazing, you know. Um, so I need to open up about that. So now um, let me reply to a first um, message, which you can see from here. So... Um, I hope you can see, yeah, sort of, you don't need to see everything, so, yeah, um, if you guys need to, um, know how to get about, how I'm getting, like, a therapist, um, I would say just let me know in the comment section, then I will give you that, but first let me, um, do this, um, the, where is it, the online web form, and this literally shows my progress. This is almost sort of like my progress um, report. And um, before, when they would ask me this question of little interest or pleasure in doing anything, mine would be nearly every day. Like, but now it's not at all. Um, feeling down, depressed or hopeless, it's not, um, it's not at all. Trouble falling asleep or staying asleep or sleeping too much, not at all. Before, my answers would be more than half a day, nearly every day. Like, that was literally my response. Um, feeling tired and having little energy, not at all. So you can see that um, my mental health has improved a lot more. But with me, um, because I've gotten so used to therapy and to my therapist, um, I don't know how to take to changes that much um with me like on like when i was younger i used to be so fearless like whatever change came my way i would go with it roll with it and i think as soon um as soon as i got older i realized how um sad and bad that is you know you shouldn't be going through constant change in life because that would later take a toll on your mental health if you're not like going through the motions and processing things as they're happening you know so i feel like now that i'm getting older everything is like unraveling you know so i need to get better and i am getting better and that's why i'm bringing a, bringing you along with me i'm trouble concentrating on things such as reading not at all moving or speaking so slowly not at all thought you would be um not at all i used to you know this was the major one for me like thought that you would be better off dead uh of hurting yourself in some way which is not at all but before it used to be nearly every day like it was that bad um now that that is done um i'm literally just going to go downstairs to continue helping my mom with the with dinner and then probably not probably i'll just bring up my dinner and then um have nice fried rice and fish with you lot and red wine and then we can watch little fires everywhere um my friend has kindly given me the password to our um, amazon premium amazon prime not premium amazon prime 
and so I'm just gonna use that to watch little flowers, little fires everywhere. And now let me show you, I've rearranged my flowers. This is how they look. Just blooming so beautifully and I'm so proud of my flowers. How beautiful are they? Like, I love, I think this is the reason why I love like real flowers. Not only do you just like see how gorgeous they look sometimes when they're not fully bloomed, you just get to see that process of it and you, you, you just marvel at how amazing and how incredible it is like they're just so beautiful and literally just make my day they make my day i love i love flowers i'm obsessed with plants <laughs> as well as dogs i need to get myself a pomeranian dog but that's when i get my own house so yeah um the next best thing for me to take care of is a plant and yeah i'm so oh, i'm so happy about it it's just so gorgeous so yeah that's that's the update i rearranged it because it was never like this and i look forward to my next one which is in which is coming um not this week the upper week on wednesday so yeah i can't wait to see how this blue blossom and flourish and just look amazing you know i'll take you guys on that journey too <laughs> By the way, I hope you don't mind me just showing my Kenwood hair, you know? Sometimes I'm just not in a mood to actually, like, um, put on a wig, even when I feel like it's not professional to do so, especially in videos, you know? But I hope you don't mind. Um, yeah. So, yeah, let me quickly go downstairs to help my mom with dinner. And I'll see you guys shortly. it's literally 1 16 on monday morning i'm on episode five and it's so good oh my god like elena is such a karen and then we have lexi who is also such a mini karen and then we have Elena's best friend, who is also a Karen, and Maya. Mia? Maya? Mia? She needs help. Like, what am I supposed to root for in this show? There's literally no one that I'm rooting for at this point. <laughs> They're just all terrible people, which is the best thing about this show. Because it's just kind of like they all have the good qualities as well as the bad ones. Some are on the extreme bad bad sides of those qualities, you know. But it's good. And so I think I'm going to take a break. And just go wash my face and brush my teeth. I actually want to have like iced tea right now. But... I think I'm just gonna have that tomorrow and then I'm just gonna have like a meat tea before I go to bed so that I can keep calm and my body feels relaxed and then I go to bed with ease you know so that's literally what I'm doing anyways guys this is where I say good night <laughs> um thank you so much for watching um things yeah thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next one also please don't forget to like share comment and subscribe and also follow me on my socials though and then i'll see you in my next one
I hope you enjoyed spending the day with me. <laughs> Good night. Um, this is Tim. Bye, Tom.